Boston Red Sox White House visit. Um, they had about what Good seven team. to ten players plus um, the manager. Plus the manager decided that they wasn't going to the White House. Um, uh, and damn near the rest of the players, the white ones, all go to the league. Now, for disclosure, I am a Boston Red Sox fan. Smoke is a Boston Red Sox fan. So, people were saying that it wasn't, they were saying it wasn't a political divide, but I said it damn sure was a race divide. And my thoughts on it is that I think that the Latino and the black players on the team, they understand the responsibility that they have to their communities and what their communities thinks about this administration. And I think that's why they decided not to go. Did I have a problem with the white players who went? I didn't. And the reason why is because I understand and know that that visit to the white house is not about you sitting up with the president. It's about you going to the white house. That probably the one in a lifetime experience that you're going to have. So, you can go there and, and enjoy that experience and really have nothing to do with the president because um, for what I've heard is that you really don't be around the president that much anyway, and they don't allow yes. you to ask him questions or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So you your trip is basically like as a tourist. You're going there to look around the White House, see it, and that's, that is an experience. That's history. That's American history that's there. I have no problems with the players. Kind of like went? that little uh, field trip that you go on when you were in middle school. Yeah, when you go, yeah, when you go I to didn't DC. go either. I didn't go then either. So. Not me neither. I had weed to smoke. But. <laughs> 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 so, hey, I'm pretty, huh? pretty sure you could have smoked weed <laughs> there. Yeah, no, I took that weed. Me and my homeboys, we posted have been going. Yeah, I think it was like a $150 trip. I think Shit, I, I think went. I it was 200 for us. I, oh, it went up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but we was apart, though, Cut for up. some years. Mm -hmm. So I said we were yeah, age yeah. group We were part So that probably had went up But I remember like it was yesterday I went to cop me a pair of J's <laughs> And took the rest of that 50 Went and got some weed Got a little bit And me and my friends We posted We skipped school that week And Cause you go It was like yeah. a week long trip And we skipped school Our parents thought we was in D.C. But we wasn't Damn, yeah. It was this old abandoned house down yeah, by the library. <laughs> yeah, we were in there for a week. Getting it in. But um, I have no problem with the players that went to the White House, and I don't have a problem with the players who didn't. Because yeah. I understand what those minority players was doing. They was um, representing for their community that they come from because their community really don't fool with this president like that. Mm -hmm. And so the white players, they didn't have that. On them, they didn't have to think about that. Like, hey, what are my brothers, my sisters, my cousins, aunts, mm -hmm. and people like that going to think of me going up here to this White House knowing that this dude has said the things that he said about our people? So I have no problem with the way the rest of handling it. How about you? Me neither. Um, Like I said, like, for when I was talking about the Lord Sullivan thing and you talk about it now, like, yo, for those, like, I don't like it. I don't do it. I don't really look up to ball players or anything like that as role model. But for the other people who do, I don't have ain't, ain't nothing against you. But this is the reason why those dudes who should do that, especially the black ones, because you have little, like, especially because with baseball, you don't really have a black population that is really high in baseball. So the old players who look black or look who look like you, you look up to the old dudes and you aspire to want to be like them. You want to be like the Mookie Betts, the, Drag the Jackie Bradleys, the Zanny Boga. You want to be like them. So it's good for them to show that, hey, we see that y'all, like, we don't like this either because he's talking about people who look like us. Yeah. And if we go up there and mingle with him and mingle with his people, we basically just saying, yeah. Validate. Yeah, we all right with what he's saying because it, it doesn't affect us. But it affects people who look like you, and you are in a position now to be a leader. Cause you're on TV, they're gonna put you put you in front of a camera, and they're gonna give you a microphone, and they're gonna tell you to talk, talk about something good. 
uplift your people and in that case don't show up at all <laughs> don't show up at all and up, uplift your people Especially like with Alec Carl, who said, "Yo, I'm that, a Puerto Rican person," and that's why he did it. Like yeah. he did it to let them let. You know, most people just say, "I ain't going to the White House." Mm-hmm. Now Alec Carl let you know exactly the reason why he wasn't yes. going to the White House. And that's why, like with those players, the white players, like yeah, I can understand. Like I can understand that because probably some of the people, some of them players voted for Trump. And I'm that, pretty sure Chris said. Yeah, and some <laughs> I am. Like, I am. I'm pretty sure my homie Chris said they, they did sure that, they did. and like that's the him thing. Him and JD Martinez, mm-hmm. and like that was the thing of when you listen to the San Francisco 49ers and you see the thing with Joe, like no Nick Bosa, not Joey Bosa, but probably Joey Bosa. Mm-hmm, both of them. You see comments from his dad. No, nah, um, we'll talk about that another time. But. Like you see that, and you like you hear the thing that come out now about people who are like, yeah, we don't really like. I I don't know, like I guess so because when I played high school football, we we didn't we I we talked about everything except for politics. But I can't tell you that if I would have made it to to the pros and anything else, especially when they are in the time of the Kaepernick, the kneeling and stuff. Like yo, I really gotta feel like yo, I'm talking about politics. Yeah. Cause I'm talking like, yo, man, can can you believe this shit? And they doing a Kaepernick, and if you a white person, and you sit, and I'm, and if I'm talking to one of my white counterpart teammates, and he said, yeah, man, but you know, he dis like how he disrespect. We're gonna have to sit down and have a conversation. Yeah. Right here and right now, and even now with, and especially because Trump made it worse by saying calling them out, and he's like, you really gotta sit down and have a conversation with your peers. I don't know how the hell y'all just sitting here not having a conversation. With your peers and understand, come into an understanding. Like you can come to an understanding on a football play, but you can't come to come to an understanding on race issues or just people issues in general. And that's a problem with human beings. They don't try to understand other human beings. They just they only they don't even understand their own situation. Sometimes they just go. I don't know what they do. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they do. That I guess that is a problem. They don't. They don't understand other people's problem. They don't understand. Socially awkward. That's what it is. Yes. Socially awkward. We all like socially awkward to other people's views and people's lives. We we concede it. We think that our life is the norm. Uh, what our life is, everybody else's life is. And we don't want listen to listen to other people's experience. And that's why we so ignorant and can't educate ourselves about others because we're not willing to listen. Mm, and so that's why I like the... the Chris Long, Chris Long, who is a white dude for the Philadelphia even when they won, he was like, I'm not going because he don't represent who I want as a president. He doesn't represent me. A lot of other white players were like, yeah, I'm going. Now, some of them might probably did have a problem with him. And they well, like you said, yo, man, I ain't going because of him. I'm going because, like, even hell, I remember what, Jane Harrison and some other player when Obama was in there. They yeah, were like, Jane Harrison, he didn't go when Obama was I'm in. not going. Like, I'm supposed to be going for the, like, it, but I think that, like, it's the media. Like, that's what you got to say. A lot of times, it's the media fault for a lot of stuff because they are making it about the president when it's supposed to be about the White House visit. You getting, I think they get, like, at least with Tiger. Tiger got, like, a little medal or something. Like, they supposed no, to be. No, he gave him a special thing. That was something special that Trump gave him. All the players, I don't think the other players get a special medal. No. Oh. Well, and, and plus you see like the lunch. So it basically, like you said, like a little tour thing. They yeah. had a little food and stuff. You walk around and you see yeah. all the other little memorabilia. Not not a bit. And, and see, like I said, this is what I said before in the video. Remember when I said people have a problem with, they have to like the people who they work with. I don't have to like the person that I work with. If me and you have the same agenda, we can do business. I don't have to like you. But people, they feel like, no, I have to like everybody. I have to want to, you know, pretty much celebify you and treat you like a celebrity for mm-hmm. me to work with you or get along with you. But that's not how they do in their average life. That's how they do in a Twitter verse, you know, internet world, where I don't like you, so I can't do this and I can't do that with you. That's crazy. But anyway, hit that like button, people, subscribe. 